Hi, my name is Bernadette Johnson, and I'm a reference librarian at the James A. Rogers Library of Francis Marion University. I am also the Government Information Coordinator. I've served in this position for 14 years. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you our African American collection. This video will give an overview of this collection, the collection's purpose, as well as rare and antique books acquired for this collection. So without further ado, I present to you the James A. Rogers Library African American Collection. In February 2011, President Luther Frederick Carter charged a committee with the establishment of a collection highlighting the lives and accomplishments of African Americans in the PD and across the state of South Carolina. After much deliberation, the committee concluded that the initial scope of the collection was too narrow. As a result, the collection was expanded to include works by or about African Americans, regardless of geographic origin. The collection initially included books and documents that enhanced and contributed to the intellectual history of the university relative to African American contributions. The James A. Rogers Library's African American collection includes over 4,000 titles and is continually expanding with new acquisitions. Over the years, the collection has evolved and currently contains books, DVDs, electronic resources, and microfilm. Some examples of the collection's content include autobiographies, an African American newspaper database, literature, history, and other resources pertaining to the African American experience. All print titles in the collection are bound to preserve the book jackets, which makes the collection distinctive from other collections in the James A. Rogers Library. Rogers Library would often refer and compare our African American collection holdings to the New York Public Library's Schoenberg Center for Research in Black Culture for further title selection considerations. Rogers Library would also review the library holdings of other academic institutions that have a large African American collection. As the collection continues to grow, we are now including titles that would support Francis Marion University's African and African American minor program focusing on the African and the African diaspora. On February 4, 2016, the James A. Rogers Library hosted a dedication ceremony for the African American Collection, where Dr. Louis Venters, Associate Professor of History, shared the history of the collection. The dedication was given by Mrs. Joyce Durant, former Dean of James A. Rogers Library, and the acknowledgments were given by Ms. Demetra Walker, current Dean of James A. Rogers Library. In March of 2016, King's Tree native Cassandra Williams Rush contacted former library dean Joyce Durant to discuss African American interests at Francis Marion University. Ms. Rush, the self appointed African American historian for Williamsburg County, also had interests and enthusiasm in documenting, preserving, and sharing the African American experience. She shared that she had a collection of books by African American authors, many antique, vintage, and first editions. Rogers Library acquired many of the vintage titles included in this presentation from Miss Rush's collection. John Jasper, The Unmatched Negro Philosopher Preacher by William E. Hatcher, published in 1908. Slavery and Its Remedy by William McMichael, published in 1856. Lil Gal by Paul Lawrence Dunbar, published in 1904. Howdy, Honey, Howdy by Paul Lawrence Dunbar, published in 1905. Candlelight in Time by Paul Lawrence Dunbar, published in 1901. The Dream Keeper and Other Poems by Langston Hughes, published in 1967. Road Heaver's Gospel Songs, published in 1922. 
Topsy Turvy's Pigtails by Bernice G. Anderson and Esther Friend, a children's book published in 1930. Uncle Tom's Cabin by Harriet Beecher Stowe, a little folks edition published in 1900. Topsy, a children's cutout book published between 1894 and 1914. Beloved Belinda and the Chocolate Chip Day, a children's book, published in 1974. Poems of the Caribbean of Derek Walcott and the Art of Romare Bearden, by Derek E. Walcott, a limited editions club, published in 1983. Black Phalanx, a history of the Negro soldiers of the United States in the wars of 1775, 1812, and 1861 through 1865 by Joseph T. Wilson, published in 1887. Our African American antique and vintage books are kept in special collections, which are separate from the African American collection. Our special collection and archives are kept in the Arunda room on the second floor. These collections consist of rare, valuable books, documents, and artifacts about local history and notable local figures and events. This room is always locked and is not open for casual browsing. All of these items are non-circulating and are available for in-library use only. To request an item from this room, you must go to the information desk and fill out a form requesting the specific item you would like to see. A librarian will then retrieve the requested item from the Arundel Room. Another notable and distinguished donor of the African American Collection is Dr. Margaret A. Reed of Sherrall, South Carolina. She is the author of Black Protest Poetry, Polemics from the Harlem Renaissance and the 60s. She is also a former associate professor at Morgan State University. To promote and display books, DVDs, and other items from the African American Collection, the library's exhibits committee and other staff create exhibits of various themes, subjects, and iconic figures related to African American concerns. In order to check out library material, a Francis Marion University identification card is required. In order to obtain an FMU ID, a South Carolina driver's license, or any other state-issued form of identification must be presented. For the general public, the borrower must be at least 18 years of age and is required to pay an annual fee of $25. Borrowers 62 years or older are only required to pay a one-time fee of $25. The card is renewable free of charge thereafter. All library books that are available for circulation can be checked out for a period of 14 days with a limit of five books. Due to COVID-19, the library is not open to the general public at this time. However, you can always visit our website to access our catalog and see what resources we offer. Thank you for watching this video.